Introducing the Penn Medicine at Princeton Medical Center Prone Positioning Team. Our team is comprised of four OR technicians, anesthesiologist, CRNA, a respiratory therapist, and a wound care registered nurse. Prone positioning has been used in patients with ARDS to improve oxygenation and prevent complications of ventilator-induced lung injury for many years. Prone positioning is now considered frontline therapy. Strategies for turning and sustaining the patient in prone position will be demonstrated to ensure safety for the patient and healthcare workers. Prone positioning can reduce mortality 50% and several COVID-19 patients have been removed from ventilators that have been previously prone. We would like to share in this video our most successful method that we call the Oliver Twist. First, we will demonstrate with a mock patient. Then the video will transition into a live case. Wound care first enters the room, removes all leads, pads all bony prominence, applies moisturizer, and utilizes silicone dressing to secure the eyelids. Anesthesia ensures the patient is paralyzed. Wound care places one sheet over the patient, followed by three pillows covered with another sheet. Anesthesia and respiratory are at the head to manage lines and the ventilator. There are several positions for the head. Most often we use our technique called the Trevetti, a blanket rolled beneath a circle foam pillow which allows for better body alignment and the ease of switching positions. With four OR techs, two on each side, and a wound care nurse at the feet, the patient is taken to the edge of the bed, then lifted on one side, and then into the prone position. The OR techs then apply EKG leads to the back, and the wound care nurse ensures all soft silicone dressings are in place. Enjoy the video. Pronin method um, shown to reduce dorsal uh, lung pressure, especially in COVID patients with RDS. Start by putting two, uh, three pillows on the chest area, pelvic area, and the lower part of the legs. We have no lines, no real vent. It's her lucky guy. <laughs> So what side is her A-line in? It's a touch line on her neck and the A-line on her right. So what we would do is we would go towards the door or the patient's right and then we move them up on the side, right? And then we inch back towards the door and then we'll go to a full prompt. So we'll go through the motions. All right, so we're going towards the door. Talk to us. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. All right, and pull over. One, two, three. So we put the arm in swimmer's position. All right, and then we turn the head towards the line that is up. And in normal circumstances, the ventilator would go here, and then we should be all good to go. Okay, so we went ahead and padded up the bony prominence. And we also moisturized the skin. Again, all this to maintain skin integrity. Um, we also lubricated and sealed the eyes with methotel. All right, so now we, are just, we added the first layer of sheets, we added pillows, and we're going to go ahead and add the last layer of blanket sheets. In this situation, this gentleman's A-line is on his right side as well as his uh, central line. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move towards the door. We're going to come up and we're going to go over. So essentially everything will be on his right side. Once again, when we put them over. All right, so towards the door. One, two, three. 
Okay, so we go ahead and we lift the patient up in the air to reposition uh, the pillows, and we go, we go ahead and place a Z-Flow specialized positioner to provide the patient with a little more comfort. Yeah, that was better. Okay, good. You know, I think that, can you put, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need that blanket under. Better. Uh, you know what, honey, do you think you could put the pillow with a V-flow on top of it to bring his chest up a little bit more? Mm -hmm. He's got such a deep kind of abdomen as a V-flow after. Yeah, I agree. Um, um, 